guys. Oh, I used to do that again. Okay, okay. Guys, welcome to Hot Sauce at Home. I'm Alex Hill, aka Just Add Hot Sauce, and we're on YouTube. I finally did it, we're on YouTube. And I'm so excited to bring you guys some of my favorite recipes that you guys love as well from my food blog that's gonna magically appear in editing, justadhotsauce.com. So be sure to tune in every week for a new episode. Bow, ow, hey. All right, guys, so we gotta shout out our amazing sponsors, my guys at Michael Lavelle Wines. They are black owned and operated, and the best part, HBCU grads. It's fine, they went to Howard, I went to Hampton. But they are taking over the wine space with their amazing rose, which is here, and they have a new red Zinfandel. So shout out to Michael Lavelle. Vince supporters just add hot sauce from day one. Did you? All right, see, we're going? We're going. Oh, okay. So, today we are making a fried halibut fish sandwich with some homemade tartar sauce. So, I am obsessed with McDonald's, don't judge me, whatever. So, back in the day, I used to go to Polyester's Teen Club with my best friend at the time. Do you got, Glenn, do you remember Polyester's? I never was allowed to go, my parents were really religious. What? Oh, sh Okay, well, back in my ratchet days, I went. And we would always go to McDonald's after and get a fish filet sandwich. So we're recreating that today. And it's a top performing recipe on just that hot sauce. So we're gonna start with the tartar sauce. And once you make the tartar sauce, you're never going to go back to jarred tartar sauce ever again, okay? And if you see me drinking and I get a little tipsy, don't judge me. I'm home, hot sauce at home. All right, so we are gonna be making homemade tartar sauce. It's the easiest, simplest recipe. Um, Honestly, those jarred in the grocery store, they're not good. It's not that expensive to make your own. It's tartary, it's briny because of the capers and the dill, and it's delish. So I have hard, like, exact measurements on my food blog, but we're just going by feeling right now. So soy, I said soy sauce, sour, sour cream, like about a fourth of a cup, and Duke's mayo, the best the shit, right? So about a fourth of a cup of Duke's mayo. So I use mayo and sour cream because sour cream is gonna get like that tanginess and then you're gonna get the richness from the mayo. So then we're gonna go to some dill relish. I'm gonna say about a third of a cup. But I'm gonna taste it all and you should taste it too. And then for the brininess, caper. I'm gonna add some of the juice from the capers too. Okay. I like to obviously hot sauce. Just add hot sauce. So we're gonna add some hot sauce. About. I see what you did there. You know, Glenn, you see it. Okay, a couple dabs of hot sauce. And then I'm gonna squeeze about half of a lemon to start. About half of a lemon. And then some dill. Dill is like the key to tartar sauce. And I always get asked questions like, how do you keep your herbs? So my trick is, especially if I'm buying like parsley or cilantro for the week, I always like rinse them, dip them in like a little like warm like water bath to get rid of like all the residue. This, I'm not gonna wash, but you wet a paper towel and then once you rinse off your herbs or whatever, you're just gonna wrap it. And then you can throw it in like a plastic bag, but this damp towel will keep your herbs fresh for like a week. So just don't throw them in the refrigerator because they're gonna get wilted and they're gonna go bad. Wrap it in a damp paper towel. So that's how you keep your tip of the day. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna chop like fourth of a cup. This is all by feeling. You can use dried dill, but fresh dill is like what I recommend. It's just fresh. Dill goes in. Look at that. Look at that. Delicious. Yum! Okay, gonna mix everything together. This is, I'm gonna taste this too. Look at that, that took no time. I'm gonna add some salt. And as this sits, it's gonna get more intense in flavor. So I'm gonna add a little salt. 
and a little pepper. So the tartar sauce is really gonna balance out like the richness of the fried fish. And also it gets, it's, it's gonna go perfect with the rosé. The rosé is acidic, like it's fruity. And once you bite into that fried, oily, delicious fish, it's gonna be good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna taste this. Mmm, that's good. And then this is gonna go in the fridge because you want the flavors to intensify and sit and get to know each other. Like when you're talking to someone, like you want to sit and chill and hang out. That's what the flavors are gonna do. They're gonna sit and chill and hang out like you're talking to each other, right? Okay. Yeah, that's how it goes. You know, that, it, that, that is how it goes. Mm -hmm. And look how quick that was. Like five minutes. And you know it's going in your food. You know, you know it's going in your tartar sauce. You want that. Okay. We're gonna let that hang out. Mmm. Mmm. I love tartar sauce. All right, so we are gonna season our fish and then do a triple dredge. And I'm using Old Bay because I'm from Maryland. And if anyone remembers, McDonald's had the bomb Old Bay fish filet sandwich, and I like to use Old Bay. So I'm actually gonna cut this halibut in half. You really can use flounder too. You wanna use a flaky white fish that can withstand like frying. So I'm gonna cut this in half. And make sure your knives are sharp. I don't need to sharpen my knives. Okay, and I'm gonna season it with Old Bay. I'm not gonna use salt and pepper because Old Bay is super salty, so I'm gonna ear on the salt of, uh, side of caution. So, just some Old Bay. Just a little. If you wanna do salt and pepper, you can. If you don't like Old Bay, even though who does not like Old Bay? WTF, everyone should love Old Bay. Maryland in the building. Maryland, ow, loco. Okay, some Old Bay. All right, so that's done. The halibut is done, then we're gonna do a triple dredge. And the triple dredge is buttermilk and egg, flour, and panko. Panko because we want that extra, extra crunch. Buttermilk and egg is basically like moisturizer for fish. It's like a moisture barrier, so your fish is gonna be super tender and flaky and not dried out. So, buttermilk and egg, okay. So we are going to do a triple dredge, what I like to call it for the halibut. So I have some, I'm gonna try and go in order if I can remember. Okay, so panko, cause that's gonna be last. That's gonna give us like a really, really good crunch. And then some all purpose flour. It's only two pieces, so I don't need like a ton. Okay. And then I'm gonna crack two eggs. So with eggs, the yolk is like the best part. The reason why is because the egg yolk has a lot of like moisture in it. So it really, oop, I got a little. So trick if you get an egg shell in your eggs, it attracts, the shell attracts to the shell. So all you gotta do is just push it up against and it gets the shell. So you don't need to like put your fingers and shit all in it. You don't need that. Okay, but egg yolk, they're super tender, super moisture. So that will attract and basically put a barrier around your fish and it will be really, really tender. And also buttermilk. I'm gonna whisk that together. First, we're gonna dip our halibut in the flour. Dip, dip, dip. Okay. And then in the egg mixture, triple dredge, right? Egg mixture. And you always wanna use one hand. You don't wanna go with like both hands because then both your hands are messy. So just one hand. So you can keep your left hand clean. Okay, so in the egg and then in the panko. And I don't know why I'm holding my hand like this. I'm holding my hand like a claw, like it's like to the side. Okay, 
because we want to get that super crunchy. Ooh, I can smell the old bay. Maryland, yeah. All right, that one's done. And then I'm gonna do the other one. All right, those are done and we're ready to fry. Some tips for your fish. That rhyme, tips for fish. Okay. Mm. Uh, mm. It kind of rhymed. Tips mm. for fish? Mm. It didn't rhyme? Damn. Glenn is playing me. Okay, so it didn't rhyme. Okay, so tips for your fish. When you're going to your fish market or you're going to Whole Foods or something like that or, or whatever, if you walk in and your fish market smells like fish, walk right back out because that means your fish is not fresh. You want your fish to smell very fish, like fresh. It doesn't need to smell like fish. Like it's gonna smell fresh. If it smells like rotten, like eggs, that means that fish has been sitting for like a day. So you don't want that. So whenever you go into your fish market and it smells like fish, walk right back out, okay? Tip of the day for fresh fish. Sit break. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna fry our fish. So when you're frying anything at a high cooking temp, you wanna use a neutral cooking oil. So this is not the time for extra virgin olive oil, this is the time for vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, because they can take high temperatures of heat. So I'm using canola, canola oil, because that's what I found at the grocery store. Um, and I'm gonna preheat this to like 350. So you always need a thermometer, right? So you can just throw it in there and wait till it gets to 350. You always need a thermometer. All right, we'll be back for 350. Okay, so we're about to fry the fish. So with hot oil, you don't wanna overcrowd your pan because as soon as you drop something technically cold, the temp is gonna drop. So you don't wanna overcrowd it. So that's gonna go for like two, three minutes. And brown, golden. Sit break. I'm like, this f is good. <laughs> All right, our halibut is fried. We have our tartar sauce. Now it's time to assemble our sandwich. And I don't care what anyone says, American cheese, you can use cheddar, you can use whatever you want, but there's nothing like American cheese. It's processed, it's gooey, it's delicious. You know, don't judge. Okay, so I have some brioche buns. I'm gonna place my golden brown halibut, cheddar. I like a lot of tartar. Bloop, 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 bloop. And duh, hot sauce. Just add hot sauce. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. These sound effects, oh my gosh. Okay, and we're done. Look at that. Now I gotta take a bite. Okay. Yum! Woo! Okay. Wait, oh my god, this is intense. Super zoomed in. You're super zoomed in. Ooh, it's juicy. It's dripping everywhere. It's great. Very delish. Very easy. Yum. Guys, that was it. Fried fish sandwich, just like McDonald's. Homemade tartar sauce. American cheese. That was it. Sit free. <laughs> We did it, first YouTube episode down of Hot Sauce at Home. I'm Alex Hill. Follow me on my socials, just add hot sauce on Instagram and just add hot sauce on YouTube. Be sure to, what do the kids say? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm officially that YouTube person. Also, if you wanna support Michael Lavelle Wines, go to sipmichaellavelle.com and follow them on social at sipmichaellavelle. Support! Black owned HBCU. See you next week at Hot Sauce at Home. Is there gonna be another sip break? Sip break! <laughs> Woo!